Welcome to Raw Presents Backlash. Hello everyone, it's NLW here, back again with another video in this SmackDown vs Raw series against Spam Wrestling. Let's get you up to speed. Both Spam and I are building to a brand exclusive pay-per-view each. He has Judgment Day and I have Backlash. So we're going to go through each match one by one, show you some of the highlights and at the end of it you can tell me what you think. And after that, you can go over to Spam's channel, subscribe to him, his link will be in the description. Next week, he will put up Judgment Day. But for now, we'll start with Backlash, and our opening contest is going to be a Ravens Rules match, hardcore match, between Jeff Hardy and Raven. And Hardy will start this match off hot, coming at Raven with a dive over the top, but Raven will come back at him with a suplex, on the steel stairs. Raven will use the weapons to his advantage, but Jeff Hardy, no stranger to hardcore matches, uses the chair as well. At one point, a ladder is set up between the ring and the announce table, but Jeff Hardy uses ladders very effectively, as you can see here. He hits a twist of fate with Raven's head in the chair, and it ends when Raven is put on a table. Jeff Hardy climbs to the top of the ladder. He goes for a swanton bomb, but there is nobody home. Jeff Hardy crashes and burns through the table, and that allows Raven to hit the Raven effect and get the win in this opening contest. And over the past few weeks, I've booked on Raw. Raven has been trying to get into the head of Jeff Hardy, and as I should mention before, this is going to be a randomly generated outcome. So all the matches tonight are randomly generated, just so you know, and we move on to the Intercontinental title match. It is Mr. Kennedy, Carlito, and Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley qualifying for this match because it was unfair the way that Anderson, or I should say Kennedy, interfered. So, this match, it's got a lot going for it. You've got the heels working together in Kennedy and Carlito. They realize that Lashley is the threat, but that alliance is short-lived when Kennedy tries to roll up Carlito. Carlito, though, comes back at him with the backstabber. Lashley, though, he's the powerhouse of this match. He's the face, however, Carlito, very quick and crafty, hits a DDT, but he tries to go for the pin. However, Kennedy with the Swanton Bomb from the top. It ends with a mic check into a spear, and that allows Bobby Lashley to pin Kennedy and get the win. Kennedy and Carlito heartbroken because Bobby Lashley is the new Intercontinental Champion. And we move on to match number three, a grudge match. Armando Estrada accompanying the Samoan bulldozer Umaga to the ring for his match against Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero. It is power versus speed. Eddie has the speed advantage on his side as he tries to take out Umaga with a bunch of high-flying moves. Umaga, of course, cost Los Guerreros the world tag titles on the last episode of Raw. So Umaga, he's using the power. He hits the super kick and the Samoan drop. Ultimately, Eddie Guerrero just narrowly avoids the behind in the corner and even manages to hit a suplex, a free Amigos. He went for the frog splash. However, Umaga had the knees up and that allows Umaga to not only hit the Samoan spike, but also come off of the top with a big Samoan splash and Umaga continues his undefeated streak here on Raw. And Los Guerreros in the ring consoling each other as Umaga picks up another victory. And it's lucky that he did because obviously it's randomly generated. I have no control over the outcomes of the matches. Speaking of, it was randomly decided on Raw that Morrison, or Nitro as he's called in this, and The Miz would become the new tag team champions. Chris Jericho said, I'll find a partner, and he chose Rey Mysterio. This was a surprise. It was a surprise partner on the highlight reel. It stemmed from Jericho being attacked. He said, I'll find a partner to fight you two for the tag titles at Backlash. And here we go. Rey Mysterio is the man that Jericho has chosen. And it starts off quick. Rey Mysterio, the high flyer, comes crashing down onto Nitro and The Miz. A snapshot is hit in the ring. So The Miz and Morrison, or I'm just going to keep calling him Morrison, are the heels in this one. Tacking Jericho at every chance they get. But some miscommunication happens and that allows Rey Mysterio to get tagged in. Hitting again the leg drop onto Nitro, and again a Lion Salt from Chris Jericho onto Nitro. Think they're going to win the tag team titles there and then with a 619 from Rey Mysterio. However, The Miz, whilst Jericho has Nitro in the walls of Jericho, he collapses onto the pile and Rey Mysterio gets rolled up 
for Miz and Nitro to retain the World Tag Team titles. Jericho's in the ring. He is annoyed because he could not get the titles away from Nitro and the Miz. At the end, it looks like he's going to help Rey Mysterio to his feet, but it's a swerve, a low blow from Jericho to Rey Mysterio. He is not happy that they lost this match and Jericho turning heel. So first big heel turn in my show. Jericho now going to move forward with him as a heel. So this result worked out well for me because I can now build towards Jericho and Rey Mysterio fighting down the line. Now we've got our semi-main event as the rated our superstar Edge goes one-on-one -on -one with the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels had a number one contenders match on Raw the last week. However, Edge caused an injury to Michaels before that match, hence why we've got this match here at Backlash. Edge using the dirty tactics to his advantage, throwing Michaels into the steel stairs. He's ruthless, but Shawn Michaels, despite still being injured from Raw, puts in a good shift, even going as far as to set up Edge on the announce table and hit a springboard crossbody through the announce table, crashing down onto Edge. And they get back in the ring. Shawn Michaels hits the top rope elbow drop. It looks like he's going to hit switch in music, but Edge catches it out, turns it around into the execution DDT, but Shawn Michaels somehow still kicks out. He goes for the super kick and he hits it successfully. However, Edge falls to the outside of the ring and Shawn Michaels can't make the cover. So, what does he do? He goes to the top, hits the moonsault, but that does a lot of damage to the already injured ribs. And Edge takes advantage of that. As Michaels went for another super kick, Edge hit the elbow and then spears Shawn Michaels whilst they're on the ring apron, the hardest part of the ring. Edge makes the cover and Edge defeats Shawn Michaels. And with that, Edge is now probably in line for a world title match. So he probably will face the winner of the main event. And speaking of the main event, here it is. It's for the World Heavyweight Championship, a steel cage showdown. Randy Orton, the challenger, he challenges the World Heavyweight Champion Batista. You can win this match by pinfall, submission, or escaping the cage, whether that's over the top rope or out of the door. And they have an intense stare down as they did on the last episode of Raw. Randy Orton, of course, defeated Shawn Michaels to get this opportunity. And you know what? He takes advantage of it, hits an RKO out of nowhere, and immediately tries to escape but Batista is there to stop Orton from escaping the steel cage. Hits a spear between Orton and the steel. And it's a bloody affair. Or at least Randy Orton wants it to be a bloody affair. Raking the face of Batista across the cage. He goes for a crossbody. Batista catches him and drives him right into the side of the cage. Batista's power seems to be no match for Orton. As he tries to escape though, Orton with the high risk sunset flip bomb into the ring to stop him from escaping and again Batista stops Randy Orton from escaping out of the door hits a spine buster onto Randy Orton when he goes for the Batista bomb though Randy Orton holds on to the steel cage trying to escape he is close to getting out but somehow Batista manages to catch him out and stop Orton from dropping to the floor otherwise we would have had a new world champion right there and delivering a top superplex from the top of the cage both men are down they're trying to get back to their feet as batista tries to escape the cage orton is there and what does he do hits a big time rko from the top of the cage to the floor below orton is staggered he's about to escape but he's got his foot caught in the top of the steel cage and that allows batista to catch him out drag him down into a batista bomb batista hitting randy orton with that devastating batista bomb and falling out of the ring through the door Batista is still the World Heavyweight Champion. The show ends, Orton is despondent as Batista celebrates, climbs to the top of the cage as your new and still remaining World Heavyweight Champion. So that's what I wanted the randomizer to do. I wanted Batista to stay the champion. I wanted him to have a good lengthy reign and hopefully the random generation of the results of these matches will help me moving forward. So that was Raw Presents Backlash. If you want to see Judgment Day from Spam Wrestling Smackdown brand, head over to his channel, subscribe, and that will be uploaded within the next week or so. Also, like the video if you enjoyed, and comment down below what was your favourite match here on Backlash, and what do you think will happen on the next episode of Monday Night Raw? Let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more of my series with Spam Wrestling. Thank you guys for watching Backlash, and I'll catch you guys later.